de Montréal, from Montreal, at 240 livres, 240 pounds, Dino Bravo. Son adversaire, de Shadiac, New Brunswick. From Shadiac, New Brunswick, 240 livres, 240 pounds, Paul Peller. L'arbitre, le referee, André Roy. Bravo, Paul Peller. Looks like it's going to be an exciting match. 240 pounds. And Bravo is in at what milk? I missed it, George, but I think Dino's a little over 240. Peller weighs 240. Uh, they're proportioned, I think, a little differently, George. I got here Bravo 605 pounds, and I don't <laughs> think that's right. No, I think, I think George, that that's the... Uh, the uh, the number that it's locked into our uh, character generating machine. I see. At least if he weighs 650 pounds, he's carrying it well. Bravo with the headlock in the ring on Peller, putting a lot of pressure on there, as you can very well see. Peller using the hair to try and extricate himself from the hold. Nine minutes remaining in this match. Peller makes his way to the ropes. And breaks coming off with a one, two, three. And he receives the jeers of the crowd. Not expecting Peller to react in that manner. A go behind. Raise waist to switch. Down cradle and Dino Bravo has got Peller pinned momentarily for two and the shoulder is up. Dino Bravo bench presses over 500 pounds. George, we'll have to sometimes see if we can get Dino to do that here on uh, television. Uh, well, strangely enough, nobody already talked to him about that and he's quite willing bring down slate equipment and of course 500 pounds is a lot of weight eight minutes remaining as Peller complains that Bravo used the top of his strap to throw him out of you, you would know that 500 is a lot of weight considering you've had 600 pounds jump on you I refer of course to the to incident with Mr. Calhoun of course yes Wrestling profession, a heavy date is a guy that weighs 400 pounds, right? Peller with a headlock. Right now, George, do you qualify as no. a heavy date then? Unfortunately, no. Oh, wow, well, with a little show of contempt, smacking the face of Peller. <laughs> Seven minutes remaining in this match. Bravo with a go behind. Watching, bringing him down on the atomic drop. Count one, two, kick out. Another slam coming up. Ooh. Press one. Two. Once again, Peller manages to kick out, breaking the eyes of Bravo. Oh, did you see that, George? Peller distracted the referee, told him that Bravo was pulling on his tights, and then thumbed him in the throat. Bravo comes back out of the corner with a judo chop, grabs Peller's head into the corner turnbuckle, punches him to the midsection. Dino Bravo now picking up Paul Peller. He's going to whip him into the corner turnbuckles. Oh, Peller comes out and Bravo greets him with a punch to the midsection. Bravo over top. He's going to pin him. Two, 
three. Whoa, I said three, but it was only two and three quarters, and Peller again comes back with a thumb to the mid, to the throat. Peller leaned in against the ropes by Bravo. Bravo tosses him off. Peller across and over top of Bravo. Bravo treats him with a drop kick. Peller down hard onto the canvas. Dino again picks up Peller. What's he going to do? He whips Peller off the ropes. Grabs Peller up. There he is. He's got him up there like a stack of potatoes. And here comes the airplane spin. And look how fast he's spinning. And this is usually it. Bravo drops Peller. The count's going to go in. One, two, three. That's it. 